Tara Lynn with Five Acres Honey Farm. I wanted to show you a little problem that I have. I brought in a, a medium super full of nectar and, and uh, honey from the bee yard from one of the hives that I've lost over the winter. And I put it through the freezer like I do with all my equipment. And then I set the box here in my bee room and I, you know, I caddy corner all of them so that they have light hitting the wax to prevent any moths and stuff from getting in here. Um, but the entire box is full of these really pretty heavy frames of nectar. And they were in here for maybe a month and I was going to check on the hives last weekend. And I figured what I've done in the past is I take a frame of nectar and it's nice, I don't have to make any syrup, prepare any food for the hives, and I can just take this and put it in the hive and take one of the empty frames out and put it in the freezer. So it's just a, a, a very convenient way of feeding the hives. However, as you can see, let me see if I can get this closer, there's all this mold. So mold is pretty gross, and obviously I wasn't planning on consuming any of this because the bees, and this is the other side of it, kind of all over and all 10 frames are like this. So um, the reason I wasn't planning on consuming any of this is because I had fed the hives in the fall with sugar syrup and then I'm not gonna be extracting that <laughs> because it's not pure honey. And also this time of the year, it's more important for them to have food um, and not for us. So I noticed, I mean, this frame might be there's only a tiny little patch on it here. It's pretty small and you can see like the dead bees that kind of, they were already dead before I put them in the freezer because um, the few that were left in this hive just kind of froze and died outside in the elements um, before I brought the equipment in. But whenever I've had any kind of mold on nectar frames and that has only happened in hives where I've had like moisture issues there's like one area of the apiary where I've noticed that the hives are consistently dealing with heavy moisture. And I did move the hives this past fall, so I'm hoping that that remedied the situation. Even though it's not like in a low-lying area, it's just really strange. It's pretty dry, but the particular hive, that particular area just encounters it. So what I've done in the past, if, I, if I've seen you know mold on any frames in the hive, is, uh, you know, I put it through the freezer and then I put it into a hive that's really strong. And then that hive usually just cleans up the mold right away. So being that this time of year, the bees are in a cluster most of the time because it is so cold and I don't want to introduce any mold, which is, you know, more moisture uh, at a time right now where it's raining and it's cold um, every day in the forecast um, for the next week or so. Uh, I'm not going to give the, the remaining hives any of this moldy nectar. I would love to hear from you how you store your nectar frames that you're not planning on harvesting if you store them at room temperature and how you prevent the mold. Because like right now, I only have the one super, so it's easy and I have them now stored um, in the freezer so it'll prevent any future mold from growing. In the future, if I have more than one super, like I don't wanna take up space in the freezer all the time. So if you have a good way of storing it, I would love to learn it. Once the weather warms up a bit and the colonies are building up, I can very easily just put these nectar frames in the colonies and they will clean up all the mold off of it. So it's not a total loss. So if you have encountered that before, don't think you have to throw away the equipment or cut it out or anything like that. Now I've got 10 frames of nectar that are unusable for the time being, um, but they will get cleaned up by the bees uh, when the colonies get a little bit bigger. So otherwise, let me know how you store your honey frames outside of a freezer and prevent mold, and I'd love to hear about it.